I'd like to welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new to the channel um, and you like the carving videos that we do, hit that subscribe button down below. I wanted to take a little bit of time today. Um, typically I don't get in front of the camera. Usually all you, all you see are my hands. So I, I kind of wanted to get in front of the camera for starting some new videos this year um, so you could put a face to the hands that are doing some of the carvings. Um, this year we're going to try to do some simple one video carvings. Um, if you have a suggestion or something that you want to you you want me to try and carve for you uh, so you can follow along just put it in the comment section down below um, if it ends up being more than one video that's okay uh, we're going to try to do some of those this year as well but uh, for the most part I kind of wanted to focus on one video simple projects and we'll work a little bit harder one here and there um, but the the shorter videos uh, I feel that you can learn quite a bit through them and they don't take up as much time to sit and watch you know two hours of carving one item and there's nothing wrong with that it's just I, I want to take a little bit different approach so we're going to do some simple simple carvings this year today we're going to talk about um, the basics um, got a little show you my little carving area um, Got a couple of them set up, one that I use for the bigger mallet tools, um, and we'll go over that one at a different time. Uh, I want to talk to you about safety, um, some of the basic knives, some of the things that, that I use, some of the things that I like when I'm doing these videos. So hopefully you'll get some good information out of this. So here's my carving workbench, very simple. Uh, try to keep it as easy as possible. Um, don't like the clutter. So I've got my carving tools. It's a caddy that a friend of mine built. Works out really well. It's got my palm tools in there that I use most and some of my knives. And of course you can switch all those out. Uh, here's my little stand where I shoot my carving videos from with my iPad. Pencil sharpener, wood burner, you know, nothing too fancy there. Drawer, it's got some of my heavy knives in it. Next drawer, miscellaneous palm tools that don't really fit anything, any of my sets. Here's another drawer, it's got some OCC tools in it, Mike Shipley knives, a couple Drake knives, Denny knife, miscellaneous. Got another drawer here that's got my safety gloves in them. My uh, dockyard tools, thumb tape, that sort of thing. And I'm sure some of you probably recognize this rough out. It's a Gerald Sears rough out that I've been working on for quite some time. And I just kind of carve it when I have a little bit of extra time. I'm not doing other stuff. Now here, this was in the wood carving illustrated, um, I think it was a whittling edition. But this was the little grumpy soap man that I did for that article. And he's just kind of sitting up there on the shelf hanging around a little bit. Name tag for when I go to carve at SDC. I've got a bunch of them. And try to try to always come up with something new all the time. Fit the theme. And that was usually carve that one or carve that one and wear it during July. So Kind of fun little quirky things. I use a lot of different knives and the majority of the knives that I like to use are Helvey knives um, and he's got all different kinds of blade profiles um, but typically uh, what I'll use is a detail blade and a rough out blade. Um, when I first started I started with a detail blade and that's what we have here and it's a good blade. I use it quite a bit. I've got several different handles that's that's the bad part about it is you start collecting handles but I've got several different um, handles different color handles with a detail blade and they work out really well whenever we're doing some of the smaller um, caricature faces or just small fine detail work this is the Helvey rough out blade and as you can see it's quite a bit of difference between the two so you know a lot of people when they first start out they go with a small blade um, that's okay uh, when you start getting to the point to where you you feel more comfortable with that 
then I would recommend moving up to a little bit bigger blade. And that just simply, simply lets you remove the wood uh, a lot easier and a lot faster. Um, these are just some 3D printed knife covers because the ones that typically come with them, they don't stay on that great. Some of the other knives that I use, um, this is a Mike Shipley knife. He's got many, many different blade lengths. This one's, I'd say, probably about an inch and a quarter. Um, very good knife, very rigid knife. Uh, the heavy knives have a little bit of flex to them, especially on the detail blades, so that helps you make some of those sweeping cuts a lot better without going to a specialty profile for them. I get a lot of questions about this knife right here. This is a heavy rough out blade. Uh, the handle was made by Gerald Sears, a uh, custom handle. Uh, he likes to do one that's kind of got that, that little front trigger, if you want to call it that. A very, very comfortable knife. I'm not sure if Gerald's making those knives anymore. Um, not actually making the blades, but making the handles for them. I know that he made, oh, half a dozen to a dozen of them. And I've got, I've got a couple of them. Um, so this one's made out of Corian. A lot of the detail work. Another rough out blade. Um, but uh, this one's comfortable. But you can see the difference in them, difference in lengths where that uh, finger is and this one seems to be works out a lot better. The other thing I want to talk about um, if you're new to carving is safety equipment and uh, I've got a couple different gloves here. This is the glove that I use the most. Uh, this one has a little bit of Kevlar woven into it. I've had this glove for several several years and haven't worn it out yet. Um, they will stop a, uh, a a slice, um, but they will not stop a stab. Um, I've had one accident, a piece of wood broke and I stuck a detail knife in the palm of my hand. So it will go through that, but they're very, very good. This is kind of a medium weight glove. The other glove that I use when I'm carving golf balls, uh, this one here, it's made by DuPont. It's got, it's 100% Kevlar and it it, it's a good glove. It's got those little rubber bumps on there which help me grip the golf ball whenever I'm carving faces or whatever it is that, that I'm trying to do with those. And then the last one, this is another, this is a heavyweight glove. Um, this one was called the Wizard. It's a really good glove, but it's really big and it's really bulky. So I have a tendency not to use that because I want I don't want all that glove around my carving. I, I, I kind of want a, a nice tight glove. Uh, even though this one does fit me, it's it's rather big and bulky, but it will stop it'll stop a slice. Well, I hope this video gives you a little insight on my little carving area and some of the stuff that that I do and some of the tools that I have. Um, it's not necessary for you to go out and try to get all those tools. You get the tools that that work best for you. Um, keep it simple if you're just starting out. So that way you kind of get the basics down before you go out and you start buying all these different tools that you may or may not use depending upon whether you like carving or not. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Have a great day. Happy carving.